Delta aircraft like the B-2 Spirit and the F-22 Raptor are famous for their ability to slip undetected past enemy radar and deliver devastating payloads to unsuspecting targets. However, the amount of technology that's used to make them so effective obviously didn't just come about by chance. They are the result of decades upon decades of research, prototyping, advanced computer-generated modeling, and of course, trial and error. Behind them, you'll see hundreds, if not thousands, of different ventures into the world of stealth technology by dozens of companies. And today we're going to look at one of the more unique aircraft that was instrumental in testing what was, at the time, breakthrough technology that had the potential to alter the way planes are designed and built. The Boeing Bird of Prey. The Boeing Bird of Prey, also known as the YF-118G, its less catchy alternative, was a predecessor to certain aircraft that use active camouflage technology to disguise themselves from enemy radar. With active camouflage, the craft's surface color and brightness were able to shift to match its surroundings, thus making it nearly invisible to the naked eye. But the Bird of Prey's stealth capabilities were not what made it unique, as there were several other planes testing similar technologies at the same time. Instead, it was the craft's single-piece, composite construction and the way in which it was designed that set it apart. Using a newly developed computerized schematics program, the Bird of Prey was designed by computers and assembled using disposable tooling. It was a proof of concept for using computer-generated graphic designs to model effective planes on a scale that had never been attempted. Development for the Bird of Prey was started in 1992 by the Boeing Phantom Works division at the infamous Area 51. It was one of the many highly classified black projects funded by the US government, and if you've ever been curious as to why rumors involving alien activity at Area 51 have persisted for so long, it's because of secret projects like this one. Or the aliens. It could also be the aliens that they keep there. Not really. Aircraft such as the F-117 Nighthawk and the U-2 Dragon Lady and many others with non-standard designs were tested over the now-famous space, which resulted in its extraterrestrial reputation. Most of the designs tested looked nothing like a standard American aircraft, and the arrowhead shape of the Bird of Prey was no exception. In fact, the reason it's called the Bird of Prey is because it bears a striking resemblance to the Klingon Bird of Prey from Star Trek. Think I'm bird of prey, sir. She's arming torpedoes. Its budget was a mere... <laughs> In military spending terms, $67 million, which when compared to something like the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, which cost roughly $929 million each in 1997, is extraordinarily cheap. One of the primary reasons for its relatively low price was the fact that it used many off-the-shelf parts that would have eventually been upgraded to proprietary ones had the aircraft been selected for active use. But as I said, this uh, would never happen, because it was not designed for large-scale production, but rather as a technology demonstrator. It used a generic turbofan engine, all manual controls, and an adapted landing gear from a Beach King Air. After going through several new revisions, the final design had a wingspan just shy of 23 feet, a length of about 47 feet, and it weighed 7,400 pounds, about 3,350 kilos. Its cockpit had room for a single pilot, and sitting behind the cockpit, a small triangular intake provided air for a Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15D5C engine. The single engine allowed it to reach speeds of up to 260 knots, or 299 miles per hour. Its maximum altitude was approximately 20,000 feet, and it possessed no tailplane or horizontal rudder of any kind, instead opting to rely on drag rudders for your control. The Bird of Prey's first successful flight took place in 1996. Because, as I mentioned earlier, the controls were entirely manual, it had to be flown without the use of computer-assisted stabilization software. To make this task easier, engineers took advantage of chines. This is the flat-looking, sharp and dead shape that we often associate with stealth aircraft to this day. These chines provided additional stability at lower speeds while also mitigating reflections that can be picked up by enemy radar. Now, to understand what made the Bird of Prey unique, you need to first understand how radar works and how stealth planes are normally built. 
Now, long-time viewers of this channel are probably familiar with this, but if you aren't, allow me to give you just a really quick rundown. Keeping things as simple as possible, radar technology works by transmitting short bursts of electromagnetic waves into the air. If a plane occupies the airspace that is being monitored, the body of the plane is going to reflect those waves back towards the radar, which can then be detected by a receiver. Based on how much of that signal is returned and deflected, the radar software could quickly determine a rough estimation of the size of what reflected it. Stealth aircraft basically seek to cut down on the number of returned electromagnetic waves by redirecting them in a safe direction where they can't be detected. That's why the shape of a stealth plane is quite so important. Some of them do this so well that when the waves hit them just right, they appear to be no larger than a bird. However, it's not just the shape. Every part of a stealth plane has the potential to reflect electromagnetic waves. Ridges and points of contact where panels connect to one another are notorious for this as they interfere with the otherwise smooth surface. And that's where the bird of prey is most unique. Its body was constructed from a single piece of material. It had no ridges, meaning it was even less likely to ping a radar. In the few places where the aircraft was joined together, special sealing treatment was used that would prevent detection. In addition to that, the only service panels on the entire body of the craft were located inside the landing gear wells, where they too would be safe from radar. This single-piece composite structure, as it's referred to, is difficult to achieve even to this day. But they managed to do it on a small scale back in 1996 using a relatively primitive virtual reality software that allowed them to design a 3D model of the aircraft before building it. In 1999, after a total of 38 flights, Boeing retired the project. Its research was done. Three years later, in 2002, it was declassified and given the designation Boeing YF-118G. However, most people who know it continue to use its catchier name. Only one prototype was ever built, and it's now housed within the United States Air Force Museum just outside of Dayton, Ohio. Today, the US military has gone stealth fighter technology mostly locked down, while many smaller countries continue to struggle with it. And this is thanks, in no small part, to little, unique, nearly forgotten projects like the oddly shaped Boeing Bird of Prey.